Democracy dies in darkness. It's that famous slogan from the American newspaper, The Washington Post. But what does that actually mean? Well, it means basically if we don't shed light on terrible things bad people are doing, they'll get away with it. And over the past few days, it's been Sony who have been the bad guys trying to do some bad things. By forcing Helldivers 2 players to make a PSN account, there are people who have been playing on Steam for months now at this point, that they have to make an account or they just won't be able to play the game. It's kind of been a big thing. Sweet liberty. No! Also, did you know that roughly 64% of you people who watch this channel are not subscribed? There's one way to fix that. Make sure to tap like and subscribe to get on with the video and let's get right back into those details. And there have been people out there who've been making the argument that, well, we've known about this since day one, guys. If you actually paid attention to your screens, you would see that it said required to make an account. But the thing is that the Helldivers team had to actually disable this because of the huge influx of players that came in that they weren't able to keep up with the servers and so then they just temporarily disabled it with that nice little skip button there. But the thing is that most people probably saw this and just hit skip and moved on without their day, moving on about their day and didn't really think twice about it. I completely forgot about that because I needed to spread democracy. And rightfully so, people were upset that if they can't play this game anymore, Sony's taking away their amazing Helldivers 2 game, which is one of the best games to be released in the last few years, honestly, to then have it be taken away because of some arbitrary count that needs to be created so they can boost Sony's numbers. I mean, they did stay within this original post, right? that like oh will help you know, protect players from griefing and abuse and people give appeal options to get banned but the thing is that like we don't have that issue in Helldivers 2 have you played this game because it definitely doesn't have that issue they're just trying to get your information and Sony has been known to be pretty bad about keeping that secure and people in the Helldivers community pointed this out like back in October nearly 7,000 current players and employees of their information was compromised by a data breach. We had another incident back in September of that same year, another one in August of 2017, another one in November of 2014. So you're seeing that like this happens quite frequently. In the Helldivers community, those cooperative demons that they are attacked the Steam review score here. As you can see, it went as low as 19% of the most recent reviews and they dropped the overall review score to 47 percent like yeah people were not happy that they had to do this so much so that hell devers 2 actually became the fourth most disliked reviewed game on steam as a whole that's what happens when you mess with democracy i mean people were so upset about this entire situation that they actually started to dislike hell divers one that was getting review bombed as well because of how much people were disliking the fact that they have to make this arbitrary account. And the thing is that having to make an account for PlayStation isn't really that big of a deal, but it's the fact that PlayStation account is only available in so many countries. And for a hot moment there, we kind of felt like we lost the battle there, guys. You can see right here that Helldivers 2 was starting to get delisted on Steam from 177 countries. Like, that's a lot of countries that people just not be able to play Helldivers. Luckily, good guy Steam were issuing refunds for people that surpassed the two hour limit, which is their kind of their standard. And that's one of the things I feel like they really dropped the ball on when it came to this announcement they didn't give people any outlet when it came to if you want to do a refund how do you not have to make an account uh how do you help those people out there who can't make a psn account because it's not available in their country pirate software had a great tweet about this as well saying sony has now removed access to helldivers 2 in every region that cannot make a psn account this denies access to every player that bought the game in those regions over the past several months you can also no longer buy the game in a number of currencies tied to those regions. Never seen a golden goose killed so publicly in my life. And that's very true. And even the CEO of Arrowhead, you know, the head of Helldivers, right? Replied to someone on Twitter that said, the PlayStation Network is not supported in my country. What do I do? And they just straight up said, I don't know. I do love the fact that so many of the Helldiver developers were just like, it's Sony, man. We don't know. Uh, we're trying to figure this out. I even saw a Reddit post out there that gained like 11,000 plus upvotes. I can't seem to find it right now to show you guys, but they were planning to do like a blackout day where just no one logs into play in protest against Sony's weird arbitrary rules. And I know that this messaging was rushed because the CEO of Arrowhead did tweet this out, right? 
saying if anyone has any questions go onto the support website you can continue on with if you had any questions about making a psn account the thing is that this tweet was previously community noted because on that support website it even said do i have to sign in to psn to play my playstation game on pc saying signing in on psn is optional when playing a playstation game on pc a little contradictory, right? But the funny thing is, when you go onto the website now, they've actually changed that part of the language, saying some PlayStation games may require you to sign in and link an account to PSN. I tell you, there must have been just one really mad exec over there at Sony being like, we need these accounts now. Send the message out. We're doing it right now. But sir, what about all the players who won't be able to play the game then? I need their data. I'm assuming that's how the conversation went. Well, hell divers, I have some good news to share for you all right here this is tweeted out from playstation at 9 p.m pacific standard time on sunday of all days so they're kind of trying to bury the lead a little bit here as well saying hell diver fans we've heard your feedback on the hell divers 2 account linking update on may 6th update which would have required steam and playstation network account linking for new players and for current players uh, beginning on May 30th, will not be moving forward. We're still learning, yeah you are, what is the best for PC players and our feedback has been invaluable. I'm sure they got a lot of feedback, that's for sure. Thanks again for your continued support for Helldivers 2 and we'll keep you updated in future plans. I'm actually shocked that PlayStation actually went back on this because Helldivers 2 is such a huge game, such a popular game, right? You can see here just within a 24 hour peak just of last night, right? Over 100,000 people, 110,000 people logged in at one point to just play Hell Divers 2. Like this game is crazy popular. So you'd wonder like, okay, yeah, Sony would definitely want to make sure you link all those accounts to try to prove, prove their analytics to show how many people are interested in PlayStation for shareholders to increase their profits, right? But I'm actually shocked. They actually, they did the right thing. Like a full step back. This is actually like kind of incredible. And of course, not all this would have been possible if it wasn't for the gaming community as a whole, right? Banding together to say, no, we do not want this in our game don't stomp on the little guys out there who can't defend for themselves on those countries that PSN's not available in. And I gotta keep it 100 with you guys. I was going to make the PSN account. Like, I hate it. I'm a Steam player. I don't like doing this. Like, it's completely unnecessary for on my end of things. Like, we've been playing it for months with no issue. And you put this arbitrary blocker on just because you want to increase your analytics. It's just really annoying. But it's one of the things where I just rolled my eyes and then I just went ahead and would go ahead and do it because Hell Divers 2 is that good of a game. And the thing is that if this was required day one to play Hell Divers 2, we wouldn't really have this much of an issue. But I think majority of people would just roll their eyes like, yeah, this would be expected. Make the PSN account, link them all up with Steam and then play the game. But for these PlayStation Sony execs, if it was that important to make a PSN account linked right to the Hell Divers, Make sure that's very working day one, you know? Sometimes, guys, gamer outrage pays off in the end. If you guys made it this far into the video, I appreciate you. Hope I earned a like and a subscribe from y'all as well. If you guys want to stay updated with everything else going on with gaming, check out these videos right here. I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out.